Praise the Lord today. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Saints of the Most High God, let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness today and thank Him for all things. Offer up a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving unto our God. Hallelujah. He is so worthy. Worthy of all of our praise, adoration. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for your word for this very day, Lord. To help us, to keep us, to guide us and lead us, Lord. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Father, and we ask that you would just reach down your hand today, Lord, and touch each one of us in such a mighty way. We need your touch. We need your word. In our hearts, Lord, manifest more and more and more. You told us in the word, Lord, through the Apostle Paul, to stir up the gift. Stir up the gift that is within you, Timothy. That's what he wrote to Timothy, and he's writing it to us as well. Fan the flame in us, O God, and let us be obedient children looking unto you. Setting our focus upon you today. Loving and praising you in all things. Crush the devil, throw him under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today's message, the strengthening angel. The strengthening angel. And I was asking the Lord what he wants to speak on today. And like I've said before, he just gives me just a little bit of a message in my heart gives me the title of the message and then he begins to develop it in my spirit so that we can understand and be seeking the Lord and being focused on him and loving him each and every day now this message is very important today because the Lord wants to bring to our attention so many things so let us let him do that hallelujah I want to start right here in John chapter 17 hallelujah John 17 Jesus says in verse 15 I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil now this is the Lord Jesus Christ praying to the Father before his crucifixion the night of his arrest I pray that thou shouldest, that thou shouldest, excuse me, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Keep them from the evil. And his prayers are answered. Hallelujah. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Now that's a powerful word right there. Verse 16. Jesus is speaking to the Father, talking about us, his disciples, his children. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Verse 18, this is the verse now. Keep this in mind. I say this every day because it's the truth. As thou, he's talking to his Father, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Now just let that sink in. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. As the Father sent Jesus into the world to do a work, to accomplish a task, many faceted, Jesus sends us to accomplish a task, to be a vessel of honor that the Father can work through. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. And then Jesus says, sanctify them through thy truth. Okay, oh, that's verse 17. I'm going to read it again. The Holy Spirit says, read that again. Sanctify, set apart, he says, them 
through thy truth. Thy word is truth. This is an important point. The Holy Spirit had me see that and let me think it was the next verse. And it's verse 17. And I'm going to go through this verse right here. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Saints, our life has to be according and by the word. Now, God has given us a new spirit when we're born anew by the Holy Spirit. We get a new spirit man, and the Holy Spirit comes and dwells, and Jesus and the Father come into us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sanctify, set apart. We are set apart through the truth. His word is truth. So we are set apart. Hallelujah. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. You see, we're set apart to do the work of the Lord that he has sent us to do. You see, we were in Christ before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. This is what the word teaches us. And then Jesus says, and for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Hallelujah. Now, the truth is so important, so very important. And the word of God that we have today in the King James Version is the truth. Hallelujah. It's the truth of God's word. Now, listen, Jesus here, John chapter one, chapter one, verse 47. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite, indeed, in whom is no guile. There's no falsity in this man, Jesus says. Nathanael saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered and saith unto him, Rabbi, Thou art the Son of God. Thou art the King of Israel. Now this man, Nathaniel, he must have been very, very, very close to the Lord. In his reading and studying of the Torah and the prophets. Because Jesus just meets Nathaniel and, and tells him what he was doing a little bit before he met him. See, because Jesus can see everything going on. See, because Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one whom the Father sent, hallelujah, God in the flesh, who was born of the Virgin Mary by the Holy Ghost. Okay? She conceived by the Holy Ghost. He is very God and very man. Hallelujah. He used 100% of his brain. He could see everything going on around him. He knew what was happening. He knew what people were thinking. Now you think about living a life on this earth today. Okay. Where you were located. If you had 100% use of your mind. And you could, you could read every thought of every person around you. I mean you would be. It would be something other than what we're living today. Okay. We use 10% of our brain. But let me tell you something. That's in the natural realm. 10%. Okay. Okay. That's in the natural realm. Our ability to reason and think, think things through. Maybe you're putting together a bicycle for your child and you're thinking, you're using your mind. Okay. You know, God gave us this magnificent mind. Hallelujah. But today, being born anew from heaven, we surrender our mind to the Lord. And then we receive the mind of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. We receive the mind of Christ and we can see things going on around us. We can see things. We can look at people and tell by the expression on their face how they're thinking about us. Okay. See, Jesus gives us understanding. He will, he will drop in our spirit what's going on. He will show us what's happening around us. Hallelujah. Because we are the ones who are the victors. We are the ones who are in the ascendancy. Hallelujah. So Jesus here, he tells Nathaniel, Before that Philip called thee when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. I saw thee. See, he saw him in the spirit. 
Oh, hallelujah. And then Nathanael answered and saith unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Because I told you something of the natural realm, you were sitting under the fig tree, you believe, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. Oh, hallelujah. This is where we want to be today. Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open. Oh, hallelujah. Now this is for us today. This is the word of the Lord. Listen. Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Oh man, this is this is so deep. You think about this. Just let that sink in now. Verily, verily I say unto you. Truly, truly, that's what verily means. Absolutely, absolutely, I'm telling you the truth. I say unto you, hereafter ye shall see heaven open. Father, we want today to see heaven open. Oh, hallelujah. And the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. <coughs> upon the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Now, what did Jesus say in John 17? As the Father hath sent me, even so send I you. So as the Father sent Jesus, and the angels of God are ascending and descending upon Jesus, they are upon us as well. We just don't know it. We're just not mindful of it. Why? Because we're too focused on the natural realm, saints. We're too focused on the natural realm. I mean, we know we're in this natural realm. We do. We know we're operating on this terra firma called earth, okay? We know we live in houses. We know we drive cars. We know we're doing these things, okay? We're in clay vessels. But yet God wants to take us deeper into the spirit realm, hallelujah, so that we can see in the spirit, not the way these people are saying in this these false movements, okay? We're not living our life so we can see signs and wonders. That's not what we're about, okay? We are about being obedient to the Father, you see. I mean, I, it boggles my mind when I think of the, the humanity of Jesus Christ, the perfect man. I mean, he could see everything, man. I mean, he told the wind to be still, and it was still. I mean, he, he just he commanded, and it happened. Hallelujah. Because in his humanity, he had full dominion. Hallelujah. Full dominion over all the elements. And he said, as the Father sent me, so send I you. Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you can say to that sycamine tree, be uprooted and cast into the sea, and it will obey you. And I remember when I was a little boy, I was about seven years old, I used to go out and tell that oak tree, be uprooted, get uprooted. Because, you know, that's what Jesus said. And as a little child, I was telling it to be uprooted. But see, God didn't tell me to do that. That was just me. Sometimes we do things and it's just us. But when the Father speaks to you, when the Father says to do this or to do that, you be obedient to the Father. You do what the Father says. You speak what he says to speak. And you watch. You watch what happens. Because see, the Father, the angels of God are ascending and descending upon us. Oh, hallelujah. This is powerful. I preached a message years ago, maybe about three years ago, called Ministering with the Angels, the Cherubim, the cherubim and the Seraphim. Because see, the Cherubim hold up the throne. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. See, we are seated in the throne in Christ today. 
And the, and, the, and the cherubim hold that throne up and the seraphim are flying all around singing, holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. We got to get in the spirit more. I mean, we need to walk in the spirit more all the time. Be conscious that we're walking by the spirit. Hallelujah. Be knowing that we're walking by the spirit. And also, when that Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, who is God, when he gives us that checkup, he gives us a checkup. He says, oh, you're diverting. You're going the other way than I prescribed. See, see, God has spoken to us many things. Amen. You can look at your life right now and God has spoken to you to do this, 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 or whatever it is. And you know by the Spirit of God if you're walking in the way that the Lord has prescribed. And you know if you're not. And you wonder why maybe you're in a ditch in some way. Because, and you know you're not walking in the way God has prescribed. That's why you're in the ditch. See? You just repent and get in the way that God has prescribed. Because, see, God wants to use our vessels to express the glory and the power and the almightiness of His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And there ain't no devil in hell. And there ain't Satan himself cannot stop that. Jesus said, the gates of hell will not prevail against my church. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing going to stop the Lord. Nothing. Except our disobedience. Our unwillingness to do what God says. Because we're listening to the carnal mind. That's where it begins, right there. And that's the playground of the devil, I'm telling you. Sharon preached a message about that one time, about the playground of the devil being the mind. I can't t totally remember the title of the message, but it was a powerful, powerful word. It's something about the mind train gang or something. I forget exactly what it was, but it was a powerful word of God, see? When we're walking by the Spirit, we're not walking by the flesh, saints. Hallelujah. Verily, verily, Jesus says, I'm going to read it again. Every word in the King James is so beautiful. Verse 51 of John 1. And he, oh, this is important. And he, Jesus is speaking. God in the flesh saith unto him, to Nathaniel. And Nathaniel was chosen of God before the foundation of the world, just like we are. And he told Nathanael, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Father, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. Hallelujah. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, we're, we're going to be seeing. I believe the Lord's going to open our spiritual eyes to see more into the spirit realm. And we have nothing to fear from the enemy. Nothing from this world, these world systems. Nothing to fear from that. Or if... The economy goes up or if it goes down. We have nothing to fear. It doesn't matter. Because we are of another kingdom, saints. We are of another kingdom. Hallelujah. Be strengthened today in the word of the Lord. Now, let's go over here to Luke chapter 22. Luke 22, is this is where it is recorded. We're going to read this now. The strengthening angel. Now, saints, I'm going to read this. Listen. Verse 39 of Luke 22. And he came out and went as, as he was wont to the Mount of Olives. And his disciples also followed him. Now, the Lord has put his spirit in us, saints. We, we have the Holy Spirit who is God. And this is the last night of Jesus' life on this earth as a man, in his fleshly body, as a man. 
this is his very last night on earth and he came out and went as he was wont in other words this is not the first time he went to Gethsemane to the Mount of Olives and his disciples also followed him and when he was at the place he said unto them pray that ye enter not into temptation and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed saying father if thou be willing remove this cup from me nevertheless not my will but thine be done now this is so totally awesome because when you think about Jesus Christ I know we used to you know when 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 you're in your infancy in the faith okay when you're a young believer in the faith you think of Jesus being God in the flesh and it was easy for him because he was God but Saints <laughs> it was a battle a continual battle we go through battles we me and my wife have been through battles you have been through battles so let me tell you something Sharon and I cannot go through the battle that you've gone through in your walk with the Lord we would have probably caved in if we had to bear your battle and you'd do the same if you had to bear our battle you understand what I'm saying see that the, the trials are tailor-made by the Lord and we're walking today the walk he's prescribed for us each one of us and Jesus when he went to that garden that night he knew that was this is my last night on earth he said my soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death he could feel he was in his soul man he he see Jesus had he had reason he had emotion oh his compassion was deep and he had a will which is very strong will but it was all surrendered to the father see all surrendered to the father and when 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 he's going his last night he knows what's happening and all the sin all the iniquity of the world is being gathered up and placed upon him and the word says he became sin for us he bore all of our iniquities and all the sin of the world. And he did it because of his love for the Father and his love for us. And today he asks us to walk. Will you walk with me in white? Will you let my righteousness guide you, my truth, my love? Will you walk by the Spirit and not by the flesh? Oh, hallelujah. Will you be obedient to me? That's what the Lord is, is, is zeroing in to me and my wife today. Just do what I tell you. It's, it's just that simple. And I say that. And let me tell you something. There's a battle that rages in the mind, isn't there? You know about it. But it really is just a surrender. Just surrender. Say, yes, Lord. This is what Jesus is doing. He, he's saying, see, he kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing remove this cup from me I mean Jesus knows what he came to this earth to do but yet in this hour in this very hour of his life on earth as a man he is being loaded up upon his soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death and sometimes in our walk, saints, we go through those times where we seem to be just extremely loaded upon. See? And, and, and let me tell you, look here. He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Now, verse 43. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven strengthening him hallelujah and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven 
strengthening him. You ever had an angel appear to you from heaven strengthening you? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise his holy name. You know, the Lord, he is absolutely the Lord God Almighty. Our God is faithful, 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 faithful unto the end. And he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. Oh, praise you, Jesus, Lord. I just praise you right now and pray unto you. And I thank you, Lord, for this word today. I thank you that you are developing this word in such an awesome and mighty way. And oh, God, I just want to just give you glory today in praise and adoration. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. The Lord says here, there appeared an angel. There appeared an angel unto him from heaven. An angel. And the Lord will let an angel come to us from heaven. He will send an angel down. One time I woke up in the morning. We were going through such a battle. It was 2010. And I'm telling you right now, I woke up and I was just going, Lord, 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 help us today. Lord, we need you, Lord. This is so much what we're going through, Father, help us. And then I went back to sleep and I had a vision of an angel standing over our motorhome. Just huge angel with his knees. His knees was 20 feet in the air. I, I couldn't even, I mean, he was huge. Hallelujah. And the Lord just, he just showed me, you know, John, I'm protecting y'all. I've, I've got you. I'm keeping you. I'm guarding you. Hallelujah. And then we've had times when we know what the word angel means. It means messenger, okay? Messenger. When little things like this, in 2000, we were building a little house when we had our land. And I was putting in the, the wood stove and putting up the stack. And Sharon was inside praying. And she said, Father, I pray that you send John an angel, Lord, to help him. Send him an angel, Lord, to help him get that stack up. And, and as soon as she got through praying, I said, Honey! Come here and give me a hand. Help me out with this. See, and she was the angel. She was, to me that day, the strengthening angel that she had prayed for. <laughs> Hallelujah. And she didn't know it when she prayed it, that she was going to be that messenger. She was going to be that strength from God to help me to get that little job done. And today we are the same, aren't we? We help one another as we're going through this battle God says, reach out, hallelujah, to me. Reach out to me. He says, I will send you a strengthening angel. I will send you a strengthening angel through through your brother, your sister in Christ. Hallelujah, through, through your mother, through your father, hallelujah. Through your children, God will give you a word through your child, hallelujah. A message. Let us be mindful of the Lord today. Let us know that God is strengthening his people. And we need not fear what man does. We need not worry about what man is doing. And let us just love the Lord and keep pressing in. Because see, God wants you and he wants me and my wife and he wants us all to be strengthening messengers to be strengthening angels unto people around us, to bring them strength, hallelujah, to bring them life from the throne, hallelujah, and to give them the life of the Lord Jesus. Oh, praise his holy name. Father, I bless you for this word today, and I thank you for it, Lord. And I give you glory, honor, and praise, and I worship you and glorify you. You are the holy God. Seal this word into our hearts. And crush the devil and throw him down in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up his holy countenance. Hallelujah. Upon you. And grant you peace. His name, authority, and character. Be in and upon your life today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.